Hello guys, my name is Miguel Seperro, I'm the creator of the Voxel Farm Engine. In this update you will see a new instancing system. This rock you see right here is actually an instance, but we will see more of this later. Now there is something else happening here, you can see there is some kind of fog coming from behind the trees. This still needs some work, but so far I really like the, the atmosphere it adds to the image. Now let's see something really cool. When you're writing a program that creates and modifies uh, voxels, there is a big temptation of uh, adding any tool that crosses your mind. And this is because it's quite easy to add a new tool. You only need to set, you need to flip uh, the values in the, in the voxels. Uh, so I found that the, the actual challenge is to, to keep it simple. How do you find the minimum set of tools you, you can use and, and, and you can be really productive with it? So I, I think I found one of those uh, tools uh, and this is what I want to show you now. The principle is to have a tool that allows you to fill a large number of uh, voxels at one shot but also gives you uh, a lot of control in how the, the voxels are placed. So I found that the easiest way would be just to point at two opposing faces. If the faces are aligned you could get something that is really straight but then you could have really all angles and now I find this very simple, very intuitive. I, I actually enjoy building this way. So sometimes even I'm, I find myself using this tool when I'm just supposed to place one or two blocks, which is just three mouse clicks. So far I'm really happy with the, with the way this is uh, turning out. So let's see more of the instancing. And I figured out the best way for you guys to see this is to actually see it in action. So I will let you see me fly over a long expanse of uh, terrain and you guys get to figure out what is instance and, and what is not. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next update.